Hey, I, uh, I found a free app that I think will be real useful for you guys, especially with e-learning coming up. And uh, using eBackpack, your video has to be less than 50 megabytes uh, in size. Uh, and most of you use the iPad to shoot videos. And um, when you do videos with your iPad, it uh, creates very large videos. So, so before we start, let's look at a couple things to make sure um, that we've changed. If you go into settings and you scroll down to photos and camera, you can change the resolution uh, that you record video in. By default it's 1080, but you can switch that to 720p. Now switching it to 720p, uh, it will still be about 60 megabytes uh, per minute of recorded video. So that's still well above uh, what eBackpack uses. Uh, but this app right here is pretty handy. So I recorded a three and a half minute video and uh, it was about 436 megabytes in size. So if I go into this application, I can select my video here. So this video is 436 megabytes and I'm going to choose this video and I want to compress it. Now you'll notice down here at the bottom you got this little scroll bar and it's going to show you how much it's going to compress it by if you look over here at the bottom right hand corner you can see that number going up and down. So we want to make sure that this is under 50. So what I would do is I'd set it at a number below 50 because it is going to try uh, and get it as close to 50 as it can. Sometimes it'll go a little over, uh, sometimes it'll go a little under. But So I'm going to set this one to like 35 megabytes. And all I'll do now is hit save and it will begin processing this video. Now while it's processing I just want to bring up that if you have a very large video it's going to reduce the quality uh, of the video as you're compressing it. So you're going to lose some resolution. Uh, so just be aware uh, of that fact. If you have a very large video you might want to think about maybe breaking it up into sections. Um, but anyway, so this will process here for just a second. So okay, our video has finished now. We can see up here in the upper left hand corner our output size is now 31.9 megabytes. So it was under the 35.2 that I had originally set it to. So now if you go into your camera roll, you'll see uh, down here in the bottom I have uh, two videos. The one on the left is the original, which is the large one, and then the one on the right is the one that's compressed. So now I can just upload this video to eBackpack or Google Drive. So I'll go ahead and put this application in the app portal if you want to use it. It's called Video Compressor. Uh, set the target size. And uh, that's all there is to it.